Hi guys, this week we are going to work in our entryways and our living rooms. We'll also hit our coat closets. On Monday, we are going to get rid of surface clutter. And I know I say this and I don't have clutter to show you, but hopefully that's one of the reasons that you enjoy watching my videos. I am trying to show you how to live clutter free and if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have much to share with you. I want you to stand in your, at your front door or if your front door doesn't lead into your living room, stand in the front of your living room and as you go along, look and see if there are things that don't belong. And I've mentioned this in previous videos for the challenge. What you can do is have a bag, a box, a basket for things that don't belong in the room that just need to go in different rooms. And the living room and the entryway are big catch-all areas for things that need to go in other rooms. So as you go along, say you're going along your entryway and shoes need to be put away, throw them in the basket. If you're going along and you need, and you have clutter in it, it's stuff that you don't even want, put that in another box or a bag to donate. And if things need to be thrown away, maybe you need a third bag. It just really depends on your home. So as you're going along, just start putting things in your basket or bin. Move quickly. So just go along. Shoes, grab them. If there's stuff on your entryway table that doesn't need to be there, grab that, throw it in your basket. If it's stuff that you don't love and you don't want, throw that in your donation basket. If it's old school papers or old envelopes from bills or whatever, throw that in your trash bag. Also, a lot of people keep newspapers and magazines and things like that in their living room. Check to see if you want to recycle those and maybe have another pile for that. It might seem like a lot, but you can go through really quickly. Quickly go through your entryway, start at the door or at one corner and work your way around. Walk around, keep picking up things and, and go through quickly. Um, I always say that, <laughs> quickly, quickly. What you can do is put that donation bag in either a closet or even if you want to set it in your garage or somewhere because you're going to be adding to it throughout the week and that will that we have you know somewhere that it can go and you can just pull that out throughout the week if you have your basket full of things that need to go in other places just quickly start putting things away so that is your challenge today just look around and get rid of surface clutter. Now, one thing that we do, um, we throw our pillows and the blankets and all of the remotes and everything all over when we're hanging out at night and we're relaxing. So if that's the case for you and you haven't straightened those up and that's the only thing that's really out of place in your living room, just take the time and spruce up your, your sofa, put the pillows back, fold your throw blankets, put the remotes away or where you like to keep them. Uh, we just have this tray here on our ottoman. We keep our remotes and if we use electronics here, we put them in there and books that we're reading. On Tuesday, we are going to tackle our coat closets. Now, I know some of you might not have an entryway coat closet. I turned my coat closet into a pantry at my old house, so we didn't have a closet that we used for coats. We kept them in our bedroom closets, and we kept games in our basement. And I know everyone has a different layout in their home. So if that's the case for you, I want you to go through your coats and your games if you have board games. So we keep all of our games up here and they are neat because we recently moved and we put all of our games up there. I have some of these Globin baskets if you guys Remember, I was getting the subscription to that and did some videos on those, but I have some um, 
game pieces in here. You know how it is. You you get a game and the you play it so much that the box that came in starts to fall apart and everything. So I I have some different games in there. And then what I want you to do is just see if your your games are straight and neat. And if you have things that have way too many pieces missing and you would like to get rid of it, now's the time. If you're like me and you had some games that, you know, the cardboard box was like falling apart, I'm talking about like smaller games, you could um, find a little box or a basket. You could even use a little sandwich bag and keep those in there just so that they're all together and they aren't, you know, falling all over the place. So go through your games and then we're going to go through our coats. So John and I keep all of our coats in here. My boys, for whatever reason, just have theirs in their closet. They just always put them up there but what I do is I keep wooden hangers here for when we have company and um, that way you know we can we can um, push our coats out of the way we have all of John's coats in here and all of mine and then I just keep my wrappies um, with all of my wrapping paper stuff in here because they have a little little hanger at the top so what I am going to do is just really quickly go through my coats and just like I mentioned when we went through our closet I think it's great to just look at each coat individually instead of just standing here staring and oh, I like all of these just carefully look at each coat and see if you still like that coat if you still wear it maybe you have some that need to be dry cleaned um, if you haven't dry cleaned them in a while you might want if you live in michigan or anywhere where it's so cold um, you might want to just jot yourself a note on your calendar maybe in like june or july to, uh, to get your coat dry clean since it's so cold around that time but i'm kidding um it's usually warm by then <laughs> but what you can do is go through and see if there are coats that you want to donate. Maybe you just never wear them or they don't fit. I am actually going to get rid of this coat. I only wore it like one time this winter and I like it, but honestly, um, it just gets dirty so quickly and it kind of annoys me. And like I said, just go through and see if there are any coats that you no longer wear and want to donate. So that's your challenge for Tuesday. On Wednesday, we are going to wipe down our front doors. Now, normally I do the outside of the door as well, but it is freezing outside. So I think what I'm going to do is once we're done doing the interior of our homes, I think I'm going to do maybe one or a couple of videos on the exterior, just the front porch and, and stuff like that. But for today, we're going to wipe down our doors. We're going to wipe down our closet doors. If you, We're going to dust our baseboards. We are also doing the baseboards in the living room. And then you'll also want to get in your vents and just get the dust on those as well. I'm just using a damp rag on the main area of the door and then the vinegar and water spray that I mention a lot on the glass and so I just quickly wipe it down and get the door handles and everything. I have mentioned this in previous week's videos but for my baseboards I just like to use a damp rag I make sure it's not too wet but damp so that it will pick up the dust and I just move along them very quickly. I don't have a camera crew so I can't really show myself doing this but I have mentioned this less of time so I just make sure to get in there and, and wipe these down really quickly. Today we are going to go through our movies and games and I did want to mention if you have drawers in your end tables, you can go through those as well and just like we did with the surface clutter, just go through if there are things that don't belong there. 
if you have things that need to be thrown away or donated, you can add to your donation or, or start putting things away. I'm going to focus on the movies and the games because I don't have any side tables with drawers. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we recently moved and when I unpacked, I just organized everything and it's pretty much stayed that way. So we have these three large drawers in our entertainment center for our movies and games and we don't have a lot of movies, really. We, we don't buy a ton of movies. Um, we just watch a lot on Netflix or we'll, you know, get them at Redbox or Amazon Prime or whatever. So we just don't really buy a lot and my kids are teenagers so we don't have a lot of those kid movies anymore but I just wanted to share a few things with you so I want you to look through and see if there's anything that you want to sell or donate or, or get rid of movies tend to be things that we love to hold on to and I don't think there's anything wrong with that so if there's nothing that you want to get rid of don't feel like you have to get rid of anything. I don't plan to get rid of any of our movies. Um, the only exception is if you have children who have outgrown certain movies, you might want to look through and um, see if there are some things that you, you know, don't want to keep anymore. So I wanted to give you a few tips. When it comes to organizing um, movies and games, I like to keep it really simple. When you want to play a game or watch a movie, you want to be able to find it quickly, obviously. So I don't um, do anything really elaborate. I just keep like movies together. So I have teenage boys, we have Marvel and Star Wars and all of that. So I keep like Marvel movies together, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit, all of that together, Star Wars movies together. Um, always make sure that you can see all of the titles. And that works for us. So that's really all. And for me, I am going to dust these drawers. I don't do this on a weekly basis, so I'm just going to quickly dust those. Today we are going to vacuum under our sofa cushions and we are also going to clean our windows. So I just basically set the pillows aside pull out the cushion and I just use the vacuum extension on my vacuum. I'm going to attempt to show myself cleaning the window because someone asked me to in my last challenge video. It's a little hard to show cleaning a window. Um, I'm cleaning this later in the day so that hopefully there isn't a big glare coming in the window, which is the reason why it's so hard to show. But I use vinegar and water. I've mentioned this so many times, but I fill the spray bottle a third of the way with vinegar and then the rest with water. It works so well. If you guys haven't tried this on windows, it works so well, better than any of the glass cleaners that I've ever tried. It doesn't leave streaks. And then... As I mentioned lots of times also, I have old towels that I cut into squares and these absorb really well. Now I don't use fabric softener on them so they are absorbent and I have a ton of these. They work so well. So basically just spray it down. I usually do about halfway so that it doesn't start to dry. And I'm going to move the camera closer so that you can hopefully see. Uh, it, it's hard to show. I don't know if it's picking up, but I just basically wipe it down and go from side to side and then up and down. It really doesn't matter. And just dry it until it's completely dry so you don't see any little droplets of the cleaner and just wipe it really well. That could be another key is not drying it completely. I don't know if that really picked up. I tried my best to show you guys, but that's basically what I do. And then, and then I go ahead and spray the bottom half and do the same thing. I did want to mention this because some of you might have really high ceilings in your living room as well. And I figured someone would ask, but 
I do have to use a ladder to get the top windows. I usually have John bring in the ladder and I will get these windows. There are some high windows in our entryway. And basically while we have that big ladder in our home, we'll do anything that we need to do up high. So if a light bulb needs to be changed, that's in one of our tall ceilings or you know, whatever. We'll just make sure that we make the most out of dragging the, the letter in. It's cold and snowy out, so I'm not going to be doing that this time around, but I'll definitely get to it in the spring. And that is all for this week. I hope you have a productive week. Again, you can post your pictures on Instagram if you would like. I love to see your pictures and hear about your progress. If you are on Instagram, you can use the hashtag 2016 How Jen Does It Challenge and tag me How Jen Does It. I'll leave the information in the description box. And if you would like to just let me know how you're doing with the challenge in the comments, that would be great as well. Thank you so much for watching.